So what do you think about it? Drugs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The person that was doing this drew all of this drugs, 100%. How? Why? Just look at all the colors. It's all disoriented. It's a beautiful mess. The face, it's just full of color, full of life and yet seriousness, if that makes any sense. Yeah. It would, and around him, the person is just a black and white world of nothingness. So I feel like this is just exactly what it feels like whenever you're on a trip. I still feel like as a noto project, the artist was feeling really restrictive. But also because of the colors, we can like feel that the artist feel like he's standing up in the black and white world, maybe because of the black and white background. That uh, definitely invites the audience for a multidimensional trip into uh, what it's like to be in someone else's shoes. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we have a new art to take a look at and talk yeah. about, right? Interesting, yep. Okay, so personally, this piece of art makes me sad. Um, I don't know, Why but... Why is that so? I look at it and it makes me sad. Hmm. Because I don't feel that way. I feel actually... Um, I feel that the painting has a lot of energy in it with the strong colors of red and green and blue and also that the strokes are somewhat different in a way that some are really strong broad strokes and while the others are just like you know um, drops of paint that just got there in my point of view this represents like what we humans are doing with the nature that we are exploiting mm -hmm. we are taking its resources mm -hmm. because if you take a closer look you can see the very intense colors we have clearly here like a shrimp that represents like the hope in a green color we have the blue that it's on the top part that represents mm -hmm. like the sky and makes me think a bit about the sea and we have the harbor and there and we have this stroke of like this brush stroke of red colors that represents what we humans have been doing that is killing, exploiting mm -hmm. like meat and things like this and makes me feel kind of bad for it. So I, this painting makes me ponder, makes me think that I'm not on the right way and maybe I should rethink of a few actions that I have been doing. For me, it's not really about violence or the environment. I think it's generally about life and seeing the color red as the base of the entire painting and with some of the colors in bold brush strokes while the others seem to be just like specks that were placed there uh, rather randomly. I think it's more like a statement about how beautiful life is, that it has many aspects, that it's vibrant. To me, it conveys the artist's love for life and uh, a celebration of the many aspects and colors that make up life. Some colors are really bright, just like we have strong feelings about things. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't agree that much. But what's interesting, you know? Okay. You know what's interesting? Okay. This painting is just a digital projection of the actual artwork. Oh, so what happened to the original? It was uh, the artist usually destroys um, his creations after it is finished. Ooh. Why? I think it kind of, it looks to me like he is um, thinking in a way like um, the Eastern philosophers or Eastern um, Taoists who think that once they create something, if they want it to be eternal. Okay it has to go away just like emotions and life itself it is impermanent and so 
the act of destroying it gives it back to nature. All right. And uh, I guess we both have different points of views. And uh, yeah, that's why we have two art critics here and not only one. And that's why what it makes it more interesting. Okay, I guess. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>